I always forget about it, but then I always get reminded. Uh, my I had scoliosis surgery. I had scoliosis when I was uh, younger. I had it for, for years, obviously, because it's one of those things that, if, for those of you that don't know, it's scoliosis is the, the curvature of your spine. So as I hit a growth spurt, my spine started to curve, and it kind of made like a, a question mark shape. So um, from the time, uh, I think it was, let me think, from ninth grade to like 10th grade, it went from like a 24 degree curve to a 49 degree curve. Wow. So it really started to bend. You can actually notice it if you look some, if you really focus on my back and see it, that it sticks out a little bit on the right side. So there was no other option. I basically had to get surgery to, to correct it or just live with it. And it was just going to get worse. I was going to keep curling over mm-hmm. and that would just cause a shit ton of problems down the line. So uh, my mom decided it was the best idea. I, I agreed with her, which sucked though, because I just started training. I started training in ninth grade. I got surgery in 10th grade. Wow. And the doctor told me, he's like, you're gonna have to stop doing that. And I was like, oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. I was like, there's no way. I was like, that was devastated. Because when, when I started training, it was one of those things where I was like, right. it was like love at first sight for me. Like I, I was watching UFC and I was like, this is fucking awesome. Once I started training it, I was like, dude, this is, I love this. And I never had that feeling before. So to have that feeling at, in like ninth grade, 14, 15 years old, and then the doctor telling me you're not gonna be able to do it anymore because you're, you're gonna have a back surgery. I was devastated. So then I got the back surgery. Went from a 49 degree curve to a 10 degree curve. Now I got two metal rods in my back. I got wow. a bunch of screws going down. Um, so I got the surgery and that first week was probably one of the worst weeks physically I've ever felt in my life. Were you in the hospital? Or you- yeah, I was in the hospital. Yeah, I was in the hospital for like five, six days. I didn't eat the entire, I had no appetite at all. I had a bite of bread the entire time I was there and some ice chips. I had no appetite. Ice chips. Yeah, and if you know me, like I'm a huge foodie. Like I yeah. love food, I had zero appetite. It was, it was disgusting. I weighed about 120 pounds. Wow. I was 5'11", 120 pounds. Yeah, like skin and bones, man. Did not feel good. Was it painful when you had scoliosis? Was it painful? No, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't hurt me, but it was gonna. It was gonna get worse. Uh, okay. So it was one of those things. You had like, to. Yeah, it was. You don't have to. They can't make you do anything. But it's like, dude, you're gonna. By the time you're 20, you're gonna be in some trouble. Like it was only gonna get worse. Did it, and you can't predict when it's gonna stop. You know what I mean? You don't know when when you're gonna stop growing. You're in 10th grade, so um, get the surgery. And that first week was just, like I said, it was it was hell, man. I couldn't. I felt paralyzed. I woke up. I, I remember waking up from the surgery, like I went, they put me to sleep, count down from 10. I wake up and I look around and the room is pitch black. I'm terrified. I knock back out right away. Then I wake up, my mom's there, my godmother's there, and I knock back out. Then I wake up and the room's pitch black. And, I, and this went on, it felt like forever. I kept just passing out, then waking up and people being there and people not being there. And just, I remember I, was, I would be so scared for like two seconds and just knock back out. Then finally I woke up and it was over and I, I was in the, in the, the recovery room, in the bed. And I, I couldn't move. Like I it felt like I was paralyzed. I, it was terrifying. It hurt to move. It, it was not comfortable at all. They had to teach me how to walk again while I was in there. And so you're how old at that point? I was 16. I just turned 16. It was like five days after my birthday. Wow. Yeah. And then they told you that you weren't going to be able to fight, fight ever again. Yeah, before I got the surgery, you told me that. And I was just like, I, <laughs> I'm very hard-headed and very stubborn. So I was like, I was devastated when I heard that. But I was like, I'm not going to focus too much on that because I, I don't really give a fuck about rules. Like I, I usually do what I want anyways. So... Anyways, fast forward, I got out of the hospital again. It was, I had my mom had to fucking give me, like I was wearing a bathing suit. My mom had to give me a bath, like a sponge bath. I couldn't bathe myself. Dude, it was like the lowest feeling ever. Wow. It was terrible. 16 years old, my mom gave me a bath. I'm sitting on a chair in a bathtub. My mom's like, scrub me. I'm like, this is embarrassing. And did you, I mean, were, were you in school at the time? Yeah, had- I was homeschooled for, it was, I got the surgery March 26, I think it was. And I was homeschooled, Plan, for- planned on being homeschooled homeschool for the rest of the year. I actually went back to school because I was, tired of the homeschool i missed my friends i missed being social but um so two weeks later i started walking around a little bit better uh, three weeks later i was giving myself showers now i was like all right there we go that's good i was able to move around by three weeks i was doing stupid stuff honestly yeah. I, started, I started jumping on the tr- like me and my brothers i got two brothers younger brothers we had trampolines like growing up and i uh, started they're, they're on it three all the time weeks out you started jumping on three weeks out oh, not not crazy but just moving around on it a little bit like oh man i can't wait to start. we used to do crazy shit like flips off the deck like <laughs> we used to do some stupid shit uh, so i started doing that i was watching them i started skateboarding at three weeks i started riding bike at three <laughs> weeks and then before three months of post-surgery i get i went back to training <laughs> wow. yeah which was stupid because the doctor told me you wait six months before you do anything and I was like, I felt so good though. I'm, I'm 16 years old, man. You, yeah, you recover yeah, fast yeah, when you're that yeah, young, yeah. man. So three three months in, less a little less than three months in, I got back to training. Sp- kickboxing was fine, like hitting pad and hitting the bag was fine. Uh, want, but I was I loved grappling when I was younger. I really loved grappling, so I couldn't wait to get back to that. So I did, obviously, again too early. And uh, I remember literally the first class, the dude went for a shoulders on the legs pass where they break, basically bring your legs above your head and try to pass the guard. And he brought my knees to my head which I can do that, no problem. But <laughs> three months after surgery, he broke my knees to my head. My, my entire, every vertebrae cracked. Oh. 
from the top of my neck down to my tailbone. I screamed. I told him, get the off me. He got off me. He heard it too. And he was like, are you okay? I was like, I don't, I don't know. So I'm laying down. I go to sit up. And, I, and every time I go here, my back goes. Krr, krr, krr. I was like. Oh my God. And he heard it too. We were just like. We were like, I just fucked that whole surgery up. I was, I was terrified. My heart just dropped. And I was like. Cause I didn't want to go back. I, that was fresh in my mind, how, how shitty that feeling was a couple months ago. So I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. So my mom scheduled a doctor appointment. We go to, the, go to the doctor, and he was just so disappointed in me. And I could tell. He just came. He's like, I told you not to do anything. I told you. He's like, your, 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 your spine moved. It, it, it's, the, the frauds aren't fused yet. It, it moved. We might have to go and do another surgery. And, dude, I just started hysterical like please I, i'll listen i won't do anything please he's like you can't do anything for the next three months i want to see you in three months can't do anything i was like fuck training like I, that was hard for me stop training i still was doing some other shit which i shouldn't have been doing but i did, i was like i'm not training anymore i'm not waiting till i till i get cleared go back in three months and then he's like all right good news your spine it realigned it fused the, oh, it like the how do i word it like the the the, the, the rods your body took took okay. took shape to the rods. It, 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 it like so held it, on to it. It did what it should have originally done. Yes, exactly. Wow. It, it wasn't as perfect as it was, but it was still good. Where it was still it was like a, it was a ten degree curve after surgery. Maybe it's like twelve now or something like that, which isn't that's doable. And <laughs> since then, no pain. Uh, I have a, not pain, but I have um, other. I say maybe not issues, but problems with it. Yeah. Like the my back is tight a lot. That but that's just for me training so much, and uh, my lower back is infused. The fusion is from like mid back to the top. So the lower back overcompensates for for the for the rest of it a lot. Oh. So I can't do like too much hill sprints or stuff like that. My back really gets starts to get tired. Um, before I train, I, I do a warm up, an extensive warm up, uh, activate the glutes, do all that. And I've been doing that since I was 25. And usually guys that are 25, they're like, I'll just get on the mat and train. Dude, I have to warm up. I do my warm ups. I take that shit so seriously. I take all the recovery stuff so much seriously now because I never want to go back to that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> never. And you, you're. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you like this video and hit that subscribe button and also follow me on Instagram at felix.levine to stay updated on all new content as it comes out.